Yesterday, I made the 16-hour drive all the way out to Silver Run, and we have finally arrived. Uh, we got in around 1 a.m. last night. I got a quick hotel room, and we are fully charged for today. Uh, we've even got a fully charged brand new Hummer EV. Check this thing out. I picked it up uh, last week, and uh, yeah, it's it's been a beast. We're towing a triple axle trailer with us because uh, today we're going to clean out my dad's mansion. He gave us an early Christmas present, and he said we can go clean out his uh, cliffside waterfront mansion. Now, this is going to be an awesome video, so make sure you guys drop a thumbs up because we're going to find some pretty awesome stuff. Uh, just because I've been there as a kid, and I know he's got some pretty cool vehicles in there. So make sure you stick around, and uh, we're going to get heading on over there right now. But first, I want to give you a little rundown on this truck, okay? So uh, Hummer EVs, they're brand new. They're built by GMC, and uh, it's an absolute beast, okay? It's got crab steering on it. If you don't know what that is, the rear tires angle in. So, I mean, it's got some pretty cool features. Obviously, it's electric. Um, it's a pickup truck uh, body style. You, you got a full bed back there. You know, got the tow package on it. It's a massive wheels, almost as big as a Ford Raptor tire, or maybe it is bigger. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so that's the rundown on this, and it's it's a beast for sure. So let's hop in and uh, give it a little test drive. Okay, now looking in the interior, they did a fantastic job in here. Okay, look, we got the massive, like it's almost like a tv size screen in here. Got the shifter there, and we are good to go. Uh, we got full battery just about, I think, uh, yeah, about 80%. So... You know, basically there, and uh, we had to park in the parking lot last night. This was a crazy park job, but uh, yeah, anyways, we're heading over there now, and we're going to get the day going. Oh my gosh. Well, anyways, I'll meet you guys at the property. It's just down the road, so we'll see you in a few. Look at this thing. It takes up the entire lane. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, anyways, uh, we're right down the block from the mansion, and uh, yeah, it's on the water, like I said, so it's got a great view of Silver Run Forest uh, right across the bay there. Also, the old roller coaster is right beside us. I used to go on that as a kid, but here's the property. We just passed it. Um, there is not enough room to go inside the property, so we're going to have to pull into the land here. There we go. And it's a little sketchy, but it'll work for now. Uh, well, looks like, uh, looks like I told you. The cars are definitely here, and we get to keep them all. Looks like we got a kind of different variety of cars. We got supercars, trucks... Here's security, Bob. Hey, Bob, how's it going? Good to see you. You remember me? I'm his son. Uh, actually, I'm selling the house, um, if, and we're going to take all the cars with us today. So, sorry, but uh, you're fired, okay? Oh, gosh, I always hate doing that, but, you know, uh, we'll, we'll make sure they get a new job for sure. Um, all right, doorbell here. Got a little welcome doorbell. Oh, my gosh. You guys have not been taking care of this house. There's a tree growing in the living room. I think that's that plant that we left here. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Well, this place is still older than old, so... And not much has changed, you know? A nice uh, old kitchen. Let's just turn on the lights. The electricity works. That's good. Yeah, there is not much in here, but it is a nice big mansion. I do have to say, it's, uh, it's a nice waterfront house. Oh, my gosh. The tree is upstairs, too. We've got the flat-screen 75-inch TV. Look at that view. You're just watching TV, looking out at night. I mean, it, it really can't get better than that. Looking at Silver Run Forest across the bay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, American flag still there. Perfect. And then we've got one bed there, and then there is actually another floor. I think the basement's got, like, three bedrooms. I, I don't really remember it that much, but, you know, I was kind of young. Oh, look at that old... Oh, my gosh. That's an old computer. Yep, that's They call that the widescreen TV, not the flat screen. Uh, we've got a little joystick. I think there was Flight Simulator on there. And then there is the roller coaster they're rebuilding right now. Yeah, it's kind of in pieces, but it'll get there. But yeah, anyways, uh, let's go check out the vehicles a little bit more because that's kind of what we're here for. We've got, looks like a Ram 1500 5.7 liter Hemi. Look at this beast. That's what I'm talking about. It's got some upgraded American Force tires on it. And we got a La Ferrari. This is the car I wanted to find. And this is a very expensive car. These are about uh, $2.5 million dollars. Uh, the year of this is a 2014. That's why it's a, you know, a little cheaper than most LaFerraris. Uh, but it's got the all blue package in it. Absolutely insane. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely customized. We got the front splitter guard. We got a front trunk there. Let's see. I think I can open the back part here. There we go. There's the engine compartment. I think there's maybe another switch somewhere else. But yeah, that's the car all opened up. Pretty sweet. 
We don't really have to do a ton of work to this property. I'm listing it for sale tomorrow morning. I'm meeting the realtor here. We've got the old monster truck here. I remember this 2500. This is a Chevy monster truck. Uh, Dad put some big, big wheels on it. And uh, yeah, yeah, he uh, he just parked it here. I don't know why it's still here, but you know, we're probably going to sell this thing for uh, 30000 So it's actually going to be going for a cheap price. And we've got the dirt bikes and the buggy down here. I remember these as a kid. I used to be ripping this thing up and down and see if it still runs. Oh, yeah, it still starts up. Look at that. I did not think it was going to run, but I guess, you know, the fuel isn't too old. It's like 10-year-old fuel. Oh, yeah, it's it can't really get any RPMs here. Yep, it's definitely bogging down. It needs some new fuel for sure. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's just leave it there. I don't want to cause any damage, but I've got the two dirt bikes there. I'm not going to even start those. I will never get them running, even though there are two strokes. So, yeah, it'd definitely be a pain to get those running. And then here is the front lot. We could have pulled in here, but... Uh, yeah, we got a pool out front. Of course, every mansion's got to have a pool, right? We got a nice pool. Uh, we've got a table for 10. If you, you know you're having a dinner outside, <laughs> look at the views. Come on. I mean, this is what it's all about here. Nice little rock wall. Um, and then sometimes you could beach the boat up there, but that is currently in storage. There's a boat out there as we speak. There's uh, multiple boats. They're out fishing. And uh, over there is the boathouse. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick showing of that. Let's go run across the beach here. Uh, so this is my grandpa's old sailboat. Back in the 1980s, he had this sailboat he was building. Uh, it's actually not there anymore. So maybe we get a new one, but it used to be sitting on these chocks. And these uh, they call these the jack stands. And the sailboat sat on here, and it would roll out. Uh, they call this a boat launch. Um, it also called a dry dock. So that means, you know, the boat just sits on it, rolls right in the water, and then, you know, the boat just floats. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet. It goes down about another five feet. So, yeah, that is the tour of the property, and it's all vehicles. Uh, so, let's get to work. We've got work to do. Like I said, there's not much maintenance work because all we got to do is put a for sale sign up front. But we got to load these cars in our trailer, okay? We got a little front gate here, and we're going to take the LaFerrari. We're going to put this in the trailer. Let's see. Let's close it up. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, let's close the front trunk here. There we are. We're in the Ferrari. We've got the Hummer parked across the street for easy loading. This is going to be tough because this car is so low to the ground. I think we're going to have to back it in there. We'll get the most ground clearance. And yeah, it should work out good. We got the spoiler we got to keep an eye on. Let's see. Is it going to fit? Yep. It's perfect. I brought this trailer because, you know, I knew we were going to be taking home some supercars. So we got to keep them nice and clean in an enclosed trailer. Alrighty. There's that one. It looks good. Okay, I think we should be able to get two. I'm going to leave the pickup trucks here because I'm selling them. I mean, this thing is a hunk of junk itself. It's a 2016. It's uh, it's definitely old. So we're going to sell that. We're going to sell the monster truck. Um, we're going to load the Porsche. This is an electric Porsche Taycan Turbo S, okay? It obviously doesn't have a turbo in it. It's all electric. Um, but, you know, he put in chargers. Uh, last time he was at this property would have been... I think it's been probably four years. So this car is four years old, which is crazy to think about. And uh, he actually got this one early. So yeah, this is old to him, but we're going to sell it, I think, eventually. Um, it's got older batteries in it. And batteries, you know, if you think about it, they go old. So uh, we're going to have to put some new ones in it. It's not running high performance like it was. Uh, you know, you can see how slow it is, Ready? Right? Look at that. I mean, it doesn't even take off. Uh, but yeah, he's got kind of an all blue theme going on at the property. If you do notice that, his favorite color is blue. Uh, but yeah, uh, these will be two great cars to sell. If I can fit it in the trailer, I think we'll be good. Oh yeah, perfect. That worked out great. I didn't think we were going to be able to get two cars in there, but looks like we got enough room. Well, that worked out absolutely perfect. And uh, we should be able to haul these back. I'll probably strap them down in the front. We got little straps down in the front. Um, and that is, uh, that's dad's property. So yeah, it's been a while, but, uh, yeah, we, we kind of earned some money, a nice little Christmas present. Uh, like I said, when he does an old, you know, uses properties, you know, grandpa, he actually gave us a lot of his properties, but now, you know, now dad's getting old. So you got to give us some of his. Now there's one more thing we have to do while we're still here in the old silver run town. And that is to take the Hummer EV off-roading. Okay. They are best known for off-roading trails. Obviously, we're not going to take the trailer with us. I'm going to back it into the driveway, call it a day, and uh, we're going to stay at the house tonight, obviously. Uh, we're not going to drive 16 hours you know, back to back. Um, but yeah, we're going to go take the Hummer off-roading, really test it out, see what the capabilities of the new EV is. And I think it's, you know, 
probably the best option we have right now. Uh, oh, no. The brakes. These cars are so heavy. Not even the Hummer brakes can stop it. All right. We got the trailer backed into the driveway. And, uh, yeah, we're going to leave the cars there. And we're going to head up to the trails real quick. We're going to do some off-roading. Oh, my gosh, buddy. They don't know how to drive around here either. You know, just a quick tip if you're visiting Silver Run. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get to the trails. I want to show you some off-roading of this area. Uh, it's definitely cool. So stick around, and I'll see you in a minute. Well, here we are. We're on the trails, and we're quite literally in the middle of nowhere. But here, I used to take this path of my dirt bike as a kid all the time. There's a really cool view right over here. Look at that. Now, this bridge is one of the best-looking bridges on the planet. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. There's a nice little bridge crossing down there. Uh, but that bridge has got some pretty cool architecture to it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of exploring we can actually go down here and take the trails by the water side, which I used to do all the time. Look at these trails. They're pretty cool, too. Lots of mud and uh, lots of things to do. There's a little boat launch right there. Yep, pretty cool. Well, guys, I think uh, we're just going to rip around on the trails a little bit, kind of bring back childhood memories. So drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Remember, subscribe. I think we're uh, 300 subscribers away. Uh, from 100,000. So our goal is uh, almost complete. So I'd really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.